Oh, hey there, Mr. Buck. I'm, uh, I'm just on a hike here, and, well, I heard that there may be hunters in the area looking for big bucks. And, well, not to toot your own horn there, buddy, but you, uh, qualify. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'll let... Tough crowd. What's going on, everybody? It's the Indoor Hunter, and you guessed it, it's part two for New England Whitetail. This time, we are on the Xbox, of course, Whitetail, and I think our main objectives for today are going to be to explore some of the zones that somehow I still don't have unlocked yet on this map. Like I said, I've hit, I've hit the ground pretty hard on here. Um, now, obviously, I don't have these large sections... Um, discovered because well this is a giant mountain range there are some trails um but i don't well that doesn't happen on pc does it i guess 10 points to gryffindor or i mean pc uh what i was saying though was there the reason that i don't have these large chunks of the map perceived uh as unlocked or discovered yet is because i don't like actually going through unlocking lookout points until I've actually really walked through an area because I like knowing where I've actually been and where I haven't so you can see the trails here uh, So I know for a fact that I haven't really discovered anything through here. I don't know. It's a little thing of mine um, I digress um, our main goal today is going to be looking at these areas that I've actually discovered on the PC um, if you guys recall from the first video this lake seemed pretty good uh, so I'm gonna go run up here check it out and then of course we got a couple lakes down here that I haven't checked out yet And I'm really got my fingers crossed. We're gonna find something cool down there um, Now as a bit of a spoiler I've actually been in the process of transitioning my moose great one grind to New England I am a man of my word and I honestly think that this map is going to be far superior to uh, Revan Tully Coast, when it tempts the Great One grind, I could end up eating my words. I don't know, but I've been saying it for a long time now. I just feel like Revan Tully Coast just isn't the map. Um, the, the grind isn't going so hot. It's a lot harder and a lot more uh, time consuming than it, the Great One Whitetail was, seemingly, anyways. Um, maybe that's just the moose grind, but it's really getting monotonous very quickly for me. And so I think a change of scenery is going to be great, but again, that's not what this video is about. That's for a video for a different time. We are going to be targeting Whitetail today. Let's get out there and hopefully we can find us a wall hanger. Talking about visual differences between uh, the PC and Xbox, it's honestly really hard for me to see any. Um, the colors are a lot brighter on PC, of course, um, but everything else, guys, it's, it's real similar. Um, granted, depending on your settings, you can have a much higher frame rate, um, depending on your hardware and stuff too on the computer, um, but I like to have that stuff maxed out, and honestly, the performance is very similar to PC. It's a little more fluid on the computer, obviously, but with the new update, with the granted update, this, this game is butter on uh, newer consoles. So this buck right here actually inspired these series of videos because the other day while kind of romping around on here I found him at this lake and it really made me start to think of what might be on New England on the PC because I hadn't played it in a while and, and long story short here we are. Um, that being said I did with knowledge hold him here. I was going to shoot him then but I decided to hold out wait for this video. That way we can find out what he is together. Hopefully he's not a troll. I've actually had a shocking amount of level 3 whitetail troll on me. Um, 231 to 272. With that rack, I really don't think he's going to troll. That's a lot of mass, but who knows? He could have a very puny weight. Um, the only way to find out is to shoot him, and that's exactly what we're going to do here. And with no surprise, he is down. Fingers crossed he's not a troll. Um, again, it, it's really shocking to me how many level 3s I've had troll. And it's also kind of surprising just how many level 2s that I've had. Um, if, if I had to think about it, I actually have way uh, way more Diamond Whitetail level 2s than I do 3s. Which is kind of strange to me, but hey, it is what it is. Diamonds are diamonds, I'm not complaining, but... 
Uh, most of the time when I see a level 3 whitetail, I think troll. So, fingers crossed, folks. We'll find out here in a sec. Alright, moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the mass on this guy. He is a, just a stud. Um, just judging by the rack here, if I had to guess, he's going to be probably 260, 265. Um, fingers crossed here that he, he is a diamond. Again, with that rack, I'm pretty sure he's guaranteed, but there's always a chance he's like a weird weight or something, and then the score gets thrown off, but... He is a dot 259, so man, I really expected that to be like 265. He's just saying amount of mass. Uh, um, beautiful horns. Can't wait to put him in the trophy lodge. But that's what we're out here to do today. Find more of these. It doesn't feel as special because again, I know I knew that he was gonna be on this map. So hopefully we can find more out there. Uh We've got a couple of these lakes to explore, and then I think what we're going to be doing differently than we did on PC, we're actually going to be doing some multiplayer hunting because of the fact that I'm switching my grinding uh, locations for moose to this uh, map. I don't want to add too much unnecessary hunting pressure to affect that or have to work around, so we'll be jumping over to multiplayer shortly just to see what we can find in New England on Xbox. There's a max weight turkey that needs to be shot. What? We got ourselves yet another diamond. I can't believe that. This guy was completely random, just hanging out. He's like right at diamond too. He barely made it. I am super stoked about that. Well, wasn't planning on that. Again, this isn't the right species, but New England is coming out on top right now, ladies and gentlemen. Apologize, folks. I still get super excited whenever I get diamonds because this is still just a rush for me. Even after all this time, uh, the countless amount of diamonds that I do have, uh, I, it's just so exciting every time. Especially when it's like you just weren't planning on seeing it and it was completely unexpected. I mean, I knew it was max weight, but it was just a level two. Didn't really think anything of it. Nine times out of ten, these end up being a gold anyways. And so I just kind of nonchalantly shot it, not thinking anything of it. And Lo and behold, we've got a diamond here. He's a very small diamond, but a diamond nonetheless, and I'm super stoked about that. Pretty awesome stuff. Unfortunately, the wind is just in a terrible position, and if there's anything close, it's definitely going to spook. Group of pretty decent whitetail. This is what I like about this map. Most of my whitetail zones are like that, at least on the Xbox. Not so much so for... Hello. 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 Look at all these max weight deer. This lake's been holding out on me, guys. Um, as I was saying, though, the, the, it's not like this on the PC. For whatever reason on the Xbox, um, every single one of my zones is just chock full of max weights. Again, get out there and explore. That's a big deer, 225 to 266. He technically has diamond potential. I can't really tell with that rack with those kind of bent G2s and or the short G2s there. I don't think he is, but we're gonna let them calm down and uh, take us a couple shots at him. Uh, and I don't know what diamond is for gold mine, but I'm pretty sure that's pretty darn close to it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take him real quick if we can. Just like so, and his unaware neighbors don't know a thing. We'll take him too. Hopefully he'll make diamond. If not, so that last harvest really got me to thinking. Um, I've gotten in the bad habit of not shooting my male waterfowl. And I think that stems from multiplayer because obviously respawns aren't going to benefit me in a multiplayer session. So typically I'll spot and then walk away if they're not diamond potential. But I really need to get in the habit when I'm on my single player maps to shoot my males. That way there's a chance for them to respawn. And I would encourage you guys to do the same. Again, maybe that's just a me thing. But I've definitely gotten in the habit of just, you know, spotting animals. 
Oh, that's a three, you know, level two gray lag moose, not going to shoot him, not worth my time, but when it's a single player map in the long run, it really is worth your time. And what in the world is a whitetail doing at 1038 in the middle of nowhere? What are you guys doing? Where are you coming from? You're coming from somewhere you're not supposed to, aren't you? You're past curfew. I'm telling your mom. Yeah, now I'm talking to you. Telling your mom. Brennan's not gonna help. that ladies and gentlemen i think that's going to conclude the video we are in spring creek manor we've got our surprise level two eastern wild turkey facing off with a light brown merriam turkey from silver ridge peaks and then over here in the hall of giants the absolute stud of a diamond we got earlier i'm still shocked that he only scored 259 i really thought he was going to hit 265 minimum with that uh mass up there but you know, it is what it is. I'm not sure exactly how the scoring system works sometimes, but uh, once again, I want to give a big shout out to Ricks for letting us use and abuse his map. It was a ton of fun, man, and we got to do it again. Um, I shot so many whitetail that the majority didn't show up in the video tonight because, well, there's literally too many. I probably, between my map and his map, over 100 whitetail have been shot, and so... Um, in conclusion, I, I really suggest if you guys are really struggling with your grind or want a uh, change of scenery, I can't recommend New England enough. It is a very good map for Whitetail um, and quite honestly might might change my mind from Revan Tully to New England be as being the best Whitetail map. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think on that one. Uh, it, it, it's up for contention, I'll say that, but I hope you guys have an awesome evening morning, whenever you guys are watching this, and I'll see you on the next one.